Okay guys, this is KVC Makarov and what you can do for it to make it better. Uh, it's CO2 pistol, it's pretty neat gun. It's uh, shooting a little high and uh, when I got it the trigger was real stiffy and uh, there was like million little scratches that uh, hinder the feel of the trigger so this is what I did for it and uh, what else you what you can do it so first take off the magazine of course for safety reasons um, there's a screw he back here that you take off the allen key this holds the handle then you got the uh, screws here here here, here, uh, here and here. Um, you take those off. I already uh, opened those beforehand. Just make sure uh, you know which screw is from where. Helps you a little bit. Then take uh, firmly from the fake hammer and lift the cover the other side so this would be the internals of the KVC Makarov it's a real simple pistol you got your trigger assembly hammer uh, barrel assembly trigger fake hammer um, the problem problematic places there were these surfaces that were so rough so the uh, other barrel and the internal systems uh, caught to them so what I did I took a little file and sandpaper and uh, cleaned these surfaces the uh, let the uh, parts move move uh, more freely. The gun itself can do it uh, over time, but it's not wise to let it do it like that. Just a little bit cleaning of the surface will help uh, majorly, especially in non blowback pistol like this. Uh, other things you can do is this. Uh, front uh, barrel guide it's made of uh, plastic and you could uh, if you want make it from the steel or aluminium and uh, possibly add um, threads here so you can add any kind of silencer here it's uh, I think it's going to help majorly when you're shooting this gun and you should be more silent because this beast will keep so loud the this beast is so loud it's really loud so what else to do well this this uh, special uh, how do you say it um, this current uh, that's it. Um, this pistol uh, was shooting a little bit too high so what I did uh, I took needle nose pliers to them and uh, bend it this uh, spring so it's uh, not so uh, hard hitting in the, in the uh, in the magazine um, bent, bent so it releases less gas so less FPS this shoot uh, somewhere 150 and 120 CO2 somewhat messes with my chronograph readings so I don't know the what was the actual number I need to chrono this after 
after I did uh, some fine tuning with the FPS. So how to disassemble this beast? First, uh, insert the trigger mechanism right there. Then take your spring out of there. Insert this spring. And uh, then insert your hammer. Now where's the other spring? Where's it going? There we go. So then just hop it in the, there. This place here. The big uh, hammer's uh, spring goes like this. If you can see, the longer end goes to outside towards body. Uh, insert that. Also you could, uh, if you want, and the uh, accuracy is not the best one, like this pistol had a uh, terrible accuracy actually. Uh, you could uh, replace the original barrel with the tight board barrel but this needs some somewhat milling and uh, some tight board barrel uh, that you you could actually use anything you, normal household uh, tools to middle this just a uh, uh, power drill and uh, some files that should be enough it's a short barrel anyways so, we got everything back in the place, and next thing is just place the other side, hold it, and you can a little bit tap it so it goes to where it should go. Nice. Then insert some couple of screws that should be fine at the first. The longer ones goes back here and uh, you can pretty much guess where they go if you can't remember. That's why you take the picture. And uh, this goes here, I think. Nope. This goes here. like this and then you just insert the handle screw down the screw and insert the magazine now you can feel the trigger is much smoother than it was uh, well in your case and uh, actually it feels a little bit less hard for the magazine so I'm guessing this will drop a little bit uh, FPS 
official sheep when I uh, chronocraft this. I don't have any CO2 capsules at the moment, so can't do that. But the uh, next owner will tell me that. Anyways. Well, it's a neat little CO2 pistol. But you can ma always make these weapons more uh, much better. The safety in this case was and actually is a little bit close. But you can uh, add something underneath the safety, this side or the internally to keep it keep it more stiff because this just falls. Um, that's pretty much each, each what the uh, it what you can uh, do with this pistol. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you liked the video. It was helpful for you and I see you in the next, next episode. Thank you for watching. See you again. Bye.